Hi guys, oh my god, welcome back to my channel. Here we are in a hotel room actually uh, because I'm currently down at the Gold Coast. I literally just got here for the Gold Coast Film Festival this year. Um, as some of you may already know, my sister works in the film industry and her company has some stuff uh, going on this weekend down at the film festival so I've tagged along with her plus one and it is currently uh, 20 to 8 on Thursday and I have just gone to the GC had a crazy day I worked all day today and then went straight from work my sister picked me up and we've driven down the coast we drove down in peak hour traffic and then we stopped at movie world because she's going there for an event tonight and then I drove from there down to surface paradise here to the QT and it was a hectic drive guys I missed my turn like multiple times but we're here now and I just want to draw to attention all of these bags all of these including this one I just carried up all in one go by myself there's still more to go get but um I did it all in one go because we are independent women around here anyway guys it is 20 to 8 and I have not had dinner yet okay and we don't skip dinner around here guys alrighty and don't worry I've had thoughts to skip it no one's here um but we're gonna order it and I'm gonna order from the room service menu I know I know and I'm currently trying to decide what to have like what do I feel like um we've got some nibbles here which might be nice we've got salt and pepper squid Ooh, that could be nice sweet potato chippies salad burgers burgers do speak to me a little bit right now i'm not gonna lie guys um they also have ham cheese and pineapple kids pizza which is also really speaking to me what do i want guys they also do like i don't feel like this now but they do do bento boxes which i'm sort of like intrigued by selection of daily fresh uh, sashimi, salmon, avocado, roll, karage, chicken, steamed Japanese rice, and a mame miso house salad. Does that sound good? Should we get a bento box? Is that a bit... I don't know. Is that a bit, like, crazy on a Thursday night to get a bento box? Knowing that I'm going to an event tomorrow night, it's making me slightly concerned to order uh, raw fish. So maybe we'll give that a miss. They've also got some nachos, which I don't really feel like. Quesadilla, which... No, don't really feel like that either. Do, guys, they have v these vegan crumpets on their breakfast menu. Obviously, you can't order them now, but it's vegan nut butter, pecans, grilled bananas, and maple syrup. I really hope they have that at the breakfast tomorrow because I could really go for that. Um, oh, that sounds nice. They just do a smash. Oh, I had avo for breakfast. Why do I, I don't want smashed avo on toast again? I don't know. Mm, this is so hard. Okay. Ooh. Alrighty, what do I feel like? Guys, I'm having, I'm having some calorie thoughts right now. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So we're just going to look at this menu and ignore our calorie thoughts. What do we really feel like? What do we feel like? So I've been thinking of a burger. So I'm thinking we have to go for a burger because I feel like if I don't order a burger, it's a little bit. Maybe I will get. Let's have a quick squiz. Just see what's available here, like drink wise. What have we got? Well, first of all, we got some snacks. This is the mini bar. Oh my goodness, there is a lot of alcohol in this room. I am of age, but geez Louise. Geez Louise, geez Louise, oh my goodness, geez Louise. Let's decide what we want, okay? This is a five minute clip already. Alrighty. Come on, time's a wasting, Jessica. In between buns, served with crinkle cut fries, classic burger, or cheeseburger and fries from the kids' menu. Let's go classic burger, guys. Let's do it. Let's go crazy. Classic burger. Let's call them. What number are they? Dial four. Calling is not available. Please leave a short message and it will be sent as an audio message. I'm so 
sorry, but how is room service not available? Okay, let's call. Let's call reception, guys, because I can't get through to room service. Oh, hi. Um, sorry to call you guys, but I'm just trying to get through to uh, room service, and they're just. It's saying the person I'm calling isn't available. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Bye bye. What? Hello? I just want a burger. Oh, hi. Um, I was just wanting to place a room service order. Uh, 604? Um, can I just get the uh, classic burger? And um, do the fries already come with ketchup? Yeah, awesome. Thank you. That's all. Thanks so much. Bye. Okay. After many tries, I got it. We ordered a burger. <coughs> also, guys, while I'm waiting for my burger here, I'm just thinking, you know, like, do I go back downstairs now and get the rest of the suitcases or I have to go after dinner? They won't be that fast with the burger, will they? Like, room service only takes a while, right? Maybe I should be good and go get all of the suitcases now. Yeah, because then I can come back, have a shower, relax. But I'm not sure, guys, do I wash my hair tonight or tomorrow? I don't know. What do you guys reckon? What do you guys reckon? What do you guys reckon? I reckon tomorrow, because, like, nah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is like the first time I've been in a hotel alone, guys. Uh, I don't know what to do with myself. Okay. Dinner's arrived. Oh. Dinner's arrived, guys. Here she is. The bag and fries. Very, like, I don't know. I feel like this is just, like, picturesque for some reason. I don't know. Anyway. She spoke to my parentals on the phone and said, hey, hey. Oh, I literally just threw my knife on the ground. Great. We're not going to be using that knife, am I? Alrighty, guys. I'm going to eat this. Actually, I'll do a live taste test of a burger for you guys. The fries are pretty good. I've already had a few. But let's do a live taste test of the burger. First of all, obviously, we've got to get that Insta shot. Okay. Live taste test. Let's get better lighting here, guys. Um, Hi guys. Oh my god, shut up. Mute. Okay, live taste test of the burg. And then I'm gonna turn the TV on properly. Okay. Nice bit of lettuce, nice cheese, nice pickle. I feel good. I feel good. Mm. I feel good, mm. feel good, feel good. Feel good, feel good. watching a documentary on alcohol which is ironic seeing that I don't really drink that much but we're limited on TV here I'm current I'm feeling very satisfied from my dinner very happy I went with that just feeling good uh, but I'm trying to decide do I wash my hair tonight or do I do it tomorrow because wash my hair tonight it risks getting oily during the day tomorrow right but if I wash it tonight, I can do like my overnight curls in my headband. I don't know, guys. What do we think? 
it's just like not an issue I should be having, but it's a real decision issue that I'm having. Oh wow, it's really close. I sort of, mm, I think I should wash my hair tonight, guys. I think wash my hair tonight, do my overnight curls, and then, I don't know, is it gonna get greasy tomorrow? I guess if it, the worst comes to worst, it gets greasy tomorrow, I just rewash it, right? Right? I actually haven't decided how I want to wear my hair tomorrow night, so that's sort of a little bit stupid to base my hair washing on how I'm going to do my hair tomorrow night if I don't even know how I'm going to do my hair tomorrow night. I think I'm going to wash my hair. I think I am. Hey team! We finished our shower. Um, I actually did the whole thing. Washed my hair. Shaved my legs. You know what I mean? Like did one of those maintenance showers and we're going to do a little bit of TLC on the skin tonight um, because we got an event tomorrow. We got to, you know, treat ourselves nicely. Um, so I'm going to do a little skincare routine. Oh my God. Am I on like Vogue or something? I don't even know. So guys, uh, the first thing I do is I've recently started using these again. Um, the mask mandate's only just actually finished, but here in Queensland, we had a mask mandate recently. And I was working a lot, I was wearing makeup, and I was starting to get a lot of mask knee. And I used to use these when I had really bad acne, and they did help just to make my skin feel a little bit more alive and not like heavy and greasy all the time. Um, and they're the uh, First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Any Breakout Pads with white clay. And you get like a bunch of, I don't even know how many pads you get here, 60. They've lasted me for ages, and I've honestly had these for a while. And they're still as fresh as new. As you see, I'm like literally almost there. I get mine from Sephora, but wherever you can get first aid beauty, guys. And I just take one little pad here and it's got a smooth side and like a rough side. So I go with the rough side first. And oh, it is hot in this bathroom. I don't even know if that air con's working. Let me just go look. Did I put the heater on accidentally? Did I put the heater on? I don't know. What the heck was that? Ah, oh, okay. Anyway, we wipe this around the face. And then I also go down my neck because I'm, I'll get breakouts like along my jawline here. Just down my neck. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my toners, then I'm gonna put on a mask, and then I'm gonna do all my proper skincare later. So, that's what I do. I used to wait till they got fully dry, but they honestly take so long to get fully dry and I just get impatient. So once I feel like my face has had enough of them, like that's the end of the pad, goodbye. Done that. And then I use this bad boy uh, from Some By Me, Some By Me, I think. It's an AHA, BHA, PHA 30 Days Miracle Toner. Uh, poor care brightening moisturizing. Um, I don't know. I bought this once and it uh, is a thing, so I have it. Um, and you know what? I didn't actually bring any cotton pads with me, guys, to wipe this on with, which is interesting. Um, so we have two choices. We either use some toilet paper or a tissue or reuse this pad we've just used. And you know what? I'm going to reuse this pad we've just used because... Oh my god. Open this up. I'm always done this as well. Like I'm always like I'm on the last ones. Just put a bit of that on the pad, just a couple sloshes. And this like exfoliates. I think it's like a chemical exfoliation, which um I enjoy. I do also use physical exfoliations, which I know like are bad, but like sometimes I just like the feeling of like Ugh! getting off my skin. Uh but basically I just wipe this around as well. I don't really know if using both of these is actually helpful, but um, I do. So there's that. Okay, we're back with the sheet mask. This one that I've got today is Garnier Skin Active. Hydro Bomb Tissue Mask, super hydrating, smoothing, and repulping. One mask equals half a bottle of serum. First signs of aging. Not really using it for aging, but we can all do with a bit of rehydrating, repumping. I've actually used a couple of these before, but never this one. So is it the best idea to use this right before an event? Absolutely not. Am I doing it? Absolutely yes. Um, 
very juicy this one now these ones have like a blue net on them that you like peel off once you put the mask on um i honestly don't really find it that helpful but like i guess it does something i guess it shows you which side of the mask to put on your face i don't really know oh no am i supposed to put on the blue thing i'm supposed to put on the blue side unfold the mask remove the blue protective film okay cool Alrighty, just gonna wipe my mirror so I can see it. And then, just like that, guys, like. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yep. I feel like my lips are always too small to fit in these. Anyway, so then we peel off the. Probably better to peel that down. Okay, peel it down. Cool, look at that. Oh, okay, she's not even stuck on. And then like when I do sheet masks, I just sort of push down on them and then I use the extra serum just on my neck because that's just something that I feel I wanna do. And then I also sort of push it in so like all that under eye area gets moisturized. Okay, alrighty. See you in uh, see you in fifteen minutes, guys. Catch you around, eh? Hey, it's been about fifteen min mins, and I'm ready to get this off my face. Let's just peely, 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 peely. Beautiful. That's done. It's actually a lot of products still in there, so we're just gonna make the most of it, okay? <laughs> we're gonna go in with the Ordinary Hydrolonic, Hydrolonic Acid. And I'm almost out of this actually. But just do a couple of drips along the face. Pop it in. And then of course, my banging body cream, which we're on the last legs of as always. I always feel like I'm running out of this stuff because I just use it all the time. So just like squeeze whatever I can out of this. And then it's time to go with the oils. So I do two oils. First off, we're starting with the Tarte Maracuja oil, which I got free in like some sort of skincare makeup set, but it's not bad actually. It's, I honestly find it pretty similar in smell and like effects to rosehip oil. I could be really wrong there, but like, whatever. Feels nice to put on, so I put it on. When I put on my oil, I like drag it under my eye first, so it sort of moisturizes my eye because in my opinion, eye creams are a scam and the normal moisturizers will do just fine. So, rub all that in, and then finally, I go in with my Body Shop Oil of Life. Oils of Life. Oils of Life. This stuff is amazing. I've never bought a full size bottle, I just have a bunch of testers, guys, because it's like spenny, but the testers last me forever, so it makes me think that like a big bottle would last me forever, so maybe I should just invest. But yeah, high reckon stuff, and also like, just the smell of it is absolutely beautiful. Like I literally associate this smell with sleep now. Like this is such a calming smell for me. Cause I obviously only use this at night time. And yeah, it smells so good. So I then rub that all in until my face looks just like a shiny little glittery disco ball. And that's that guys, that's my skincare. I'm gonna go and continue watching Netflix on my bed and do my hair for the evening. So come on, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so here we are on the bed now. Um, and I'm just watching A Week Away, which is a musical on Netflix. I'm literally about three minutes into it, so I can't give it any reviews yet. But I thought, if you guys stay upright, hold on. Awesome. Gonna week away and watch my hair. So watch my hair. Watch a week away and do my hair. So you can watch that. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy a little more. Your lips spoke softly. You seem to like me. Right place, right. 
time Had a feeling you'd be mine from the go I wonder if we'll be still here at 23 With you right next to me I don't know if 